Hello everyone, I'm Prime Mithra. Welcome to the first offline, <laughs> the first non-stream episode of Final Fantasy XI. Um, as I've always said, that I'm going to continue to play Final Fantasy XI um, on and off stream. There's a lot of stuff in XI where it's, you can't do, like sometimes you're just running around leveling up, and leveling up could take a long time, and it's not really like a whole bunch of stuff to do. So that's what I was doing here. I was in the process of just leveling up. After another stream, I was still in Valkram, still leveling up out here. Um, I was 35 at the moment right now. So while I'm out here leveling, uh, Valkram Emperor spawned. So I claimed Valkram Emperor. So what I'm going to do here, the goal here is... I'm going to record a whole bunch of stuff as I continue to play. And then I'm going to have to just clip it together. Whenever something interesting happens, I'll record it to make sure I get it. So we still have the whole complete offline uh, journey uh, through Final Fantasy XI. Now, I'll still be doing streams. Again, these will be like post or pre-stream episodes. So I'm at a point now where I'm going to probably live stream again. Because after all this episode, I'll end it where I have goals set in mind. Something I could do in like a two hour stream. So that's what I'll do. Um, so as you can tell, I'm, I, I'm already editing this. I'm recording this as I'm watching back what I've decided to keep in and edit. So uh, I'm watching back the clips now and I'm just describing them. <laughs> so here, as you can see, I killed Emperor. I actually got experience from it, um, but no drop. So uh, I was needing to leave Valkram. I needed to go do all the Kazam keys. So I went back. Here's Leaping Lizzie now. So I went, I need, I need to still get them, right? That was the goal. That's pretty much what I need to do. At the end of the last stream, I was going to say, well, look, I've got all kinds of stuff I need to do. One being... I need Kazam keys. I need to do rank 2 mission. So there's Leaving Lizzie. I didn't get anything. I need to get uh, Goss Bit Grass, which is what I'm doing right now. For the Chocobo quest, I need four of them. So there's one. Uh, there's a, another. So you kill these Wadi Hairs. There's another one, Goss Bit Grass. Um, they were dropping pretty quickly, actually. This only took maybe like 30 minutes. Maybe. So remember, I am Red Mage Sub Thief. There's another Gospit Grass. Again, I kill these things really quick, so sometimes I don't actually get them fighting. So I did end up getting all four. Went back to Bastic. Um, finally had enough money, so I bought Shell. <laughs> That's definitely something I do need. Uh, as you can see, I got the, the chest key, one of them, the Parboro Mines chest key. Um, I think I got that on stream, actually. Or no, I think... I must have... I must have done it, oh, as I was getting the sword. So you can see I've got the, the, the rank 2 sword, or the uh, the small sword from the Bastic. So right now what I'm doing is the rank 2 mission. So the rank 2 mission, I need to kill that Aimon the Ironbreaker. Um, but he's going to link with all these other Yogatos. These, these things are, this, this place is ridiculous uh, when you're like the only person. That's another thing I've started to notice. When you're the only person in the world, some places can be... Really overpopulated with mobs. Uh, normally there'd be people probably farming these things for bracelets and stuff. Or, not, yeah, you've got a brace, bracelets, right? Um, or just killing him, trying to do the rank mission. Uh, or just getting Asper Knife from him. But, yeah, so... Or Humaju. Uh, I do go by and check Humaju after this. So, Kazam Keys, I need to go to each of the monster areas. So I went, I got Pearl Mines Mines uh, chest key, which was the Bastic one, which, so I, I got that one. I'm, I think I got it on stream or off stream. I, I must not have recorded it. Um, then I need to go get the one here in Gideus. I need a Gideus chest key as well. So I figured while I'm doing that, I'm going to do the rank 2 Bastic mission. And that's what this I'm on the Ironbreaker is. You, you need to kill him. You need to get the Asper Knife. Then you need to trade the Asper Knife to another Yogato. And then you can um, you complete this branch of the of the rank two Bastic mission. Then you got to go to Sandoria. So this was a big, long quest that I just have to do. <laughs> and like I said, this stuff like this isn't gonna it's gonna take a long time if I'm gonna stream all this stuff. So it's best to just 
do it not on stream. So there's an Aspier knife. Um, we'll run over here, go trade it to the guy that needs it. There we go. Here you go. Take your knife or whatever. Hoot hoot. So um, give it to him. Be done with this branch. Um, as you can see, I was killing crawlers and stuff because I need um, Winder's fame. So I did a bunch of crawlers. I actually got Stroll's sneak here from killing some random al acolyte. <laughs> so that's good. I didn't have sneak yet. Um, so the other thing is I need to... Oh, there's the Gideus chest key. So I did end up getting it off of something I was leveling up off of. So you can see I got three in experience. Um... I think I got it off like the first one. Yeah, this going back through here, this is like literally, there's a guy in there that you have to, uh, he's like the first one and I got it. So that was lucky. Now I'm death warping back to Selbina. <laughs> uh, so I get, you know, I have to change the level one job, get naked and punch a whole bunch of stuff and hopefully they come kill me. So I had punched like a bee, a Mandragora and a Ravrib. So there we go. Death warping to Selbina. So that's great. So that finished off. The Kazam keys for Windurst finished off the Windurst quest or the Windurst uh, branch of the the rank mission, rank two for Bastic. So that was great. Um, now warping back to Selbina now and trading a whole bunch of uh, things because I had to do Lothian Cabbage. I have to trade these things to rank up my Juno fame because I need to do Chocobo quest now that I got Gospel Grass. I need to have Tenshoto fame so I can get to uh, Ad Uragon or Al Zahib. So I, I need to ride, be able to ride that boat. So uh, here you go. You can just watch Final Fantasy XI at its finest, training some Lothian cabbage. <laughs> oh man, what a great time! Look at all this Lothian cabbage. See, this is something. It's, so it's just, it's just like, why would I leave this in, right? So, this, here you go, the Final Fantasy XI experience. <laughs> Trading Lothian cabbage to this guy. Uh, fun times, here you go, you can just watch this, I'll be back. So, yay, now that that's over, let's get started with the next thing. So since I'm in Bastic, um, I can still level up out here. And if you go to the outpost, you can go to the Fields of Valor and everything, and you can get yourself, you know, the quest to actually level up. So I took the one that was killing damselflies and killing Brutal Sheep, and because I'm back out in Valkram again, or did I say Bastic? I meant Valkram, or since I was in Selbina. So since I'm out here again, I took the one that kills sheep, and there you go. You can see I got myself. I was only level 34 at this point, so I just got 2,000 for killing the, was it like three sheep and four damselflies or whatever. But anyway, need to kill damselflies because uh, since I'm out here, I might as well just continue camping Emperor. And if I can level up doing it, uh, what's what? why not? So that's what I did. Um... So this is just me leveling up. I already did the, um, whatchamacallit, did the wide scan. So at this point, I know Valkram Emperor is up, and I'm really close to leveling up. So I see him down on the, um, somewhere around here. He's, I saw him on the wide scan, so I got to heal completely up at this point before running down. I'm really close. I'm only like 400 HP away or whatever, but so there's two goblins. So I was gonna these goblins are easy players, so they're gonna they're gonna aggro me. Same thing with this one over here. So I can't let them get to line of sight, right? I need to avoid that. So uh, I go between the two of them, and then I come down here, and then I was like, well, I'm gonna go over by the cave or whatever. Now, if you saw that, uh, Valkyrie Emperor just aggroed me. Uh, I thought these were passive mobs, 
So I didn't know Valkyrie Emperor would actually aggro. Uh, that's probably never that's some that's information I never had before ever in my life. Uh, there's no way Valkyrie Emperor would ever not be claimed uh, when you actually played it during retail. So uh, I learned that that Valkyrie Emperor actually will aggro you. It's not even though it's a passive mob, it's uh, Emperor is not passive. So uh, that sucked. Kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so. This fight with Emperor uh, started off not great, but the um, luckily, you know, I'm level 34, I'll level up off of him if I can kill him, so that's fine. The only thing you have to worry about is those goblins, right? So the, the Puggles are going to... So you see there's passive mobs in these games. So the Puggles and the, and the Snippers, they're all passive. They don't really do anything. You can stand around them, even if, even if they're strong enough. Like, say you're even leveling out here. In a party and during retail, we're out here. Uh, those things would easily kill you, but they're not going to aggro. So this should be an okay place for me to fight Emperor. Now, the problem here is... Uh, Emperor has... Uh, what is it? He's warrior class. So he's got... I don't, know, I don't know if he's exact. I think he's, yeah, I think he's a warrior because he, he can get double strikes. So that that's the problem that's going on here, right? He's double striking and critting me pretty badly, um, which is not great for me. <laughs> uh, my gear is still awful. Um, like I'm still wearing like level ten stuff. I because I I can't I can't use my money. The my gill is too valuable, right? I need to use it for warping around, or I need to use it for b getting fame, or I need to use it for beating quests i can't really invest like the five to six thousand dollars in gill it would cost me to to get a better gear knowing that eventually i can just do a quest for better gear so i'm not buying any gear or doing nm right that, that i figure i'll get nms for gear so or i'll craft for gear i'm not i'm never gonna buy gear outright it's just a total waste so that puts me in a very bad position here where yeah normally uh, a level 35 red may should have no problem killing Valkyrie Emperor. <laughs> uh, but when, you have a when you're a 35 red mage wearing level 10 gear and using like a level 17 sword, uh, Valkyrie Emperor is kind of a big deal. He's kind of a problem. So uh, there, he killed me. Now, lucky for me, I've decided to turn off um, EXP loss, right? Because there's, there's, there's times where I'm just going to need to be doing quests like what happened when I was going for the Kazam keys, right? Uh, that those areas are flooded with mobs, and it's so hard not to link. And sometimes I'll just die, not not because, you know, it's just like there's just too many things because the mobs those areas are meant for you know, so a server can farm up what they need. So there's like a, a ridiculous amount of mobs there, as as I showed when I was fighting Imon. But when you're fighting things that actually link and can kill you. Uh, it's not great. So I turned off EXP loss because it, it's, it was getting crazy, right? <laughs> like, sometimes there's just times where it's like I need to pull something, but I just can't and without linking. So knowing that I could probably take two of them, like, I need to do risky pulls. But with EXP loss, e risky pulls are just never an option. So then sometimes it's like sitting around for 20 minutes waiting for something for me to pull just one of them. And that's like, no, nah, not worth it. So here I come. This is the same Valkyrie Emperor. I'm going to run right back out to him. Uh, you can see his health. He hasn't completely healed. So I'm going to be able to catch him. I got him with the slow this time. So I was able to actually to debuff him this time, which is great. Uh, he's blinded now. So um, perfect opportunity. The only thing is, like I said, you got to keep. I can't let those diggers or mugger aggro me because they're still going to, which is a problem. <laughs> but. Um, as long as I can pull them away, the damsel flies will also link. So the the placeholder damsel fly, or the one that were the over there in the corner, the one I had I had killed the friar, is now back up again. So there, I got him with slow, which is just great. Actually, landing in feebles is is perfect. So um, like I said, luckily nothing seems to be around here. I'm able to... Oh, there's a third goblin now that just spawned, which is just not great. Uh, hopefully, it will go well. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm way under level for a lot of things. Like, I'm still level 60. I should be, like, near 90s, I think, 
for like my enha- uh my my magic and feebling and stuff but it, I just, it's sometimes I just I just can't cast I don't have enough casting opportunities right I'm not even capped out on healing see I just I maxed out my healing there so what I ended up my healing's my highest one because when I took the boat I just ended up just casting heal on myself while I'm waiting for the boat because <laughs> you don't need to actually heal points to raise your healing skill you could just he- as long as you're casting the spell so you just cast heal 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 on yourself when you ride the boat and that's what I ended up doing so that's how I got my healing so high evasion. Luckily, it's pretty high skilled because, well, I've been fighting everything. Uh, red mages normally don't fight like normally you would nuke and bind and debuff, but I don't have those spells. <laughs> so there we go. I took down Emperor, and look at that. I got Emperor Hairpin. Very, very, very hard earned Emperor Hairpin, where he killed me, and I had to go back to home point to Selbina and then run back out to get it. Uh, but that's great. Uh, that's a huge increase. As you can see, the 10 evasion is amazing. It's a huge increase in uh, the amount of what I can actually kill in solo. So Emperor's Hairpin, thank goodness I got it. So here's just another snipper. We'll just, um, I think this one, did. I think it might have aggroed me as I was healing. Um, no, it didn't. I, I attacked it. These, these are all passive mobs. They don't aggro. Uh, I think I just needed, oh no, this, I'm going to rubble up off this one. That's why I killed it, because Emperor gave me EXP, I ended up being like three or four hundred away. So, two or three more kills, and I have it, right? So, before leaving, to go back to, uh, from this point forward, after getting done here in Valkram, so I figure I'll level up, get to 36, and then, now that I got M-Pin, so, yeah, 35, there, I just leveled up, 35. Now I'm pretty much done here in Valkram, so it's off to Sandoria for the first time. Um, as I'm coming up to Santoria, here's, uh, an NM that has the, uh, I forget what this is, a plus one st strength, uh, weapon wrap, which, or weapon straps. Weapon straps are pretty neat. They're, when you use two-handed weapons, you put them on, and then, uh, they're just little bonus buffs. So, I figured I'd just kill this one. I don't know if I'll ever use a two-handed axe or whatever, but maybe eventually I'll have to level up Warrior. Um, if I ever want to level up Ninja or something, I'd probably just sub-thief. Most of the time, I'm probably just going to sub-thief all the time because I want to be able to steal, but... So look at that, I actually got the 10x strap. Hooray. Pointless weapon, but I got it. Might as well kill it, right? <laughs> if it's up and I'm running past it. So, uh, Sandoria for the first time now. Uh, I need to do all the, the quests here. Uh, back there is where I needed to be for the, um, to get Friar's Robe. So now, while I'm here... Sandoria. Let's kill Spook. So, Spook is really good because he drops a cloak. He's not really an NM, but he spawns two or three times per night. So I figured, well, I'm going to go kill Spook. So there we go. Uh, I didn't get anything. So that's one Spook. Uh, here's another Spook. Like I said, he spawns two or three times a night. I forget what the exact thing on his cloak is well I didn't get the cloak again here so that's two spooks and here's uh, whether you can see the, the clock down at the bottom exactly at 20 is when they'll spawn because he's a ghost so there it is 20 and there's spook again so you can get him daily um, it's not he's not too bad to wait out right so here we go uh, this would be spook number three nope nothing okay so again, spook again, uh, nothing. It's another more claw spook. That's four spooks. Okay, um, not too bad. Again, you just wait them out. They spawn every like five minutes or so until four a.m. Then once four a.m. comes around, they stop spawning. Uh, Was that five spooks? Five spook. So spook number five. All right. Here's another new day. Just click to twenty. There's spook. So we'll get another spook here. Now, the nice thing about this is uh, King Ranipur's Tomb, I can still do uh, some goblins around here. So uh, six spook. Let's go spook number seven. Nothing at all from spook number seven. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> Just 45 kill. All right. Uh, spook eight. Let's go spook number eight. Let's 
Um, so as I was saying, King Ranifer's tomb. There's some goblins here. I can go. I can go before going to the next part of King Ranifer's tomb to uh, at least level up off of. So I start doing that, and there's like a chest key. You can get uh, Ranifer's tomb chest keys. So there's Spook Eight. Nothing. Okay, Spook Eight. Nothing. Uh, yeah, at this point, it's like, oh my gosh, Spook Eight. I think this is like a. I don't know, I think it's like a 20% drop rate. I don't know. So, as I'm going for the goblins here, and you can see here's another NM. This one drops like a one-handed axe, or maybe it's a two-handed axe. I don't remember. So, he's up, so I figured I'd claim him, and I'd try my odds with him. So, spook, I'm not going well. I have eight spooks in, and or seven or eight spooks in. Nothing, so maybe my luck will turn around. Uh, nothing, just some money. So, great. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I killed some worm here and I got a ring. Just a mine ring. I don't have any rings, so that was great. As you can see, my EXP went up now. I'm at 913 because I was killing a little bit of gobs. Now, came all the way back for Spook again. Here's Spook. This is Spook number 8 or whatever. 9. Who knows at this point. I, like I said, it should be like a 20% drop here for Traveler's Mantle. So, uh, this is a lot of Spooks. Uh, nothing. No, okay. Spook 9. Um, this one, I think, is the one that goes better. N nope. All three things but the, the, the cape. Spook 10. This is uh, not going well. <laughs> Again, this, this is the kind of stuff where it would have taken a long time if I was on stream doing this. Uh, nothing. That's Spook 10. Okay. Again, another new day. Here it goes. Just hit time to 20 and spook. <laughs> so it was a spook 11 uh, for Traveler's Mantle. Let's go. Uh, nothing. Okay. Spook 12. <laughs> uh, okay. Spook 12. I don't think it should ever take this long. Normally you can get spook 12. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Spook 13. Let's try again. Spook 13. Here we go. This one should be it, right? It's like, again, it's a 20% drop rate. Nothing. Okay. I guess we'll just wait another one out. Here's another day. Sp Spook 14. Let's go. We'll get it this time. Pretty sure we get it this time, right? It's a 20% drop rate. I'm on Spook 14, right? It only makes sense. Nothing? Okay. Spook 15? <laughs> this one will be it. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Uh, nothing. Okay, never mind. I didn't get anything off that one. Okay, so we're at Spook 14. All right, let's go back to the... Again, another day. Let's go back over to the other thing. Now, there's some times in here where I might have, like, quit and logged off because I wasn't going to wait the entire day. So I would just wait, logged off, and then uh, the server... I, I, If you log off, I can log back in and the server will reset. Okay, so nothing off Barbara Stella. Here we go. Another new day. There's D Ding to 20. There's Spook in the back. Let's go kill Spook. This is Spook 15 or 16. I don't even know at this point. Doesn't even matter. Okay, down you go, Spook. Let's get the Traver's Mantle, finally. Right? Uh, nothing. Okay, sp sp Spook. This is Spook 16, I think. I think this is going to be the one. Right? Spook 16, I think this is it. I think this is it. Hopefully. Oh, hey. <laughs> Traveler's Mantle. Finally, after Spook 16. That took forever. So, uh, then on to where these are the things that drop the, the chest, the last Kazam key that I need. These these Curse Makers here. As you can see, I've, I've linked, right? The, the Curse Maker in the back is also linked. It's, it gets ridiculous because of these areas. I, it's hard to farm these things. The fighters drop up. All these things drop it. So it's like, I run in, I kill one or I hope to kill one and then I run away and because I can't I can't handle too many of them linking so that's it 
this is where I'm leaving off. This one did not drop the key. So thank you so much for watching. We're going now to another live stream, right? At this point, it's where I'll pick up with the live stream. So thank you so much for watching.